Hello, Leo. How are you doing? Thank you so much for all the likes and the subscribes and the comments. I really appreciate you guys so much. Okay, I'm gonna um, get into this message. Just clear the energy really quick. I put this bell thing right where there's like all of these petals, like flower petals, and like so. Yeah, get stuck sometimes. You know what are you gonna do? <laughs> okay, let's see, Leo. What's coming up, Leo? Leo. medicine man or woman some of you could have like a um spirit guide that's trying to communicate with you some of you in a past life may have been a medicine man or a medicine woman for like a native tribe or something if you feel called or feel connected to that but this is really about trusting within yourself that you yourself have the answers and there is a way your unique way of expressing um the channeling from the divine like how is that going to be how you're gonna put this out into the world here and there is something here about spirit is giving back to you and for some of you for a lot of you there could be ways where you know, you're going to be blessed in ways that it's not maybe necessarily a predictable outcome or the traditional way here, but spirit is going to take care of you. There, there's some kind of trusting in the divine and in what you are being guided to do. Um, it's like all of us, you know, in this like rainforest, if you imagine all the animals of the rainforest, like each animal has their own this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is their part, you know, and they play an integral part in the ecosystem, right? And, you know, one fungus uh, no longer exists anymore. It throws everything else out of whack. But the world is constantly growing and changing and evolving. And then new things are coming and balancing things out, you know. So there's something here about there's something new within yourself that you're going to now be expressing out into the world in whatever way and you're going to receive for this there's a way that you're being protected here and there's a way that you can see something okay this is a dream catcher so like this could have to do with your dreams but there's something here that this is like you're gonna sh you're gonna see something you're gonna you're gonna um there could be some kind of a vision. There could be some kind of secret, like the puzzle that you're now putting together here. We'll see about it. it's time to change out these cards this communal living won't go away finances leaving your travel all of these cards you've been get yeah okay after this i'm changing the cards for a little while but there's something here about getting the, the finances that you need to proceed, to leave, or to travel, to express some kind of a gift that you have. 
that you will be that you have been perhaps persecuted for <laughs> look at this it's like the same thing wow wow so this can manifest itself in a lot of different ways and it can be very difficult to make this change but it can be very rewarding it can be very easy as well you know and that's the thing is you're going to start to see how much easier it is and it's like i feel like also this is kind of saying you're going to be around like-minded individuals soon where you haven't been around like-minded individuals you know if you're living with a bunch of other people here there are other people that are also putting something into something and I feel like you've always been the only one putting something into something. If you think about medicine men and medicine women, they were associated with like a tribe and that was their part in the tribe, right? And other people did things, you know? It's like the medicine man or woman wasn't out there getting all these herbs that they need. I mean, maybe they were, but you know, there was people hunting. There was people like making the clothes. What, what, what clothes is everybody gonna wear? You know, somebody needs to do that. <laughs> so there was a person and they were like, oh, I just love designing. You know, how are we going to wear this deer skin or whatever? So there's different things that everybody is called to do. And when you put it all together, it's really amazing here. So I feel like you're figuring out your part. No, that's not it. It's like you're 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 um, being guided towards like more that you can be, and you're being like raised above to be this, you know. And there's some kind of finances coming in that is gonna allow you to enjoy what it is that you're giving. Let's see about this. Whoa. Spiritual love, Lily. Ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. And that's the thing is this what this could be talking about as well. This is like, you know, you are the medicine woman or you are the medicine man and you're meeting the other, your other half, you know. That could be, you know, and it's like, I think I heard about like, you know, in some cultures they did it this way and some cultures they did it this way. Or like, you know, this person did more healing with like different herbs and things. And this other person did more uh, having visions and, you know, that kind of thing. So, or, you know, somebody did more of like, you know, child birthing and somebody did more um, things about like... Um, advice about where to hunt and how to you know understand the animal spirits here there's like all different kinds of ways that you can kind of do the same thing where you can have the same title here so there could be like other like-minded people that you're going to find yourself around um that this leads to a change in your finances this leads to a new opportunity and opens more doors for you to express your art, whatever that is, right? Um, yeah, and more like a spiritual community, like your soul tribe, who these people are going to be. And this could lead to a very spiritual love. This could lead to you finding a person where, you know, you work with them. And it's just like this cohesive, amazing group and or like you and them. And this leads to, you know, a spiritual love. This leads to business and like this amazing romantic partnership as well. You know, where you live together and you travel together here. So this is something uh, really amazing here that you're like destined for to have. Yeah. Wow. I 
significance. Wow. Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Somebody carries a torch for you? Yes. You know, this may be a career opportunity and then you come to fall in love with someone. <laughs> you know, this is really amazing here. This is really reminding me of like Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks, and Jerry Hicks. If you, you know, look on YouTube, they're all over YouTube, okay? And, you know, Esther, you know, she channels Abraham, which is like her, her higher self or um, a form of source energy. I don't know how you would describe it. And she just guides people in, you know, living their best possible life and being able to receive abundance and love and all of these amazing things, right? Um, and so that is her part, you know, medicine woman. That's what Esther does. And Jerry is, you know, he believes in Esther and he was pushing her to tell other people about what she's channeling where she was kind of just like telling him and like, okay, let's keep this a secret. You know what I mean? So he kind of marketed her <laughs> and he, you know, they, he drives them, would drive them around, you know, now he's passed away, but, um, would drive them around and he has this logical mind. And I think he was teaching at a college and there's different concepts that he would bring into it, but it's like the two of them together was this union and they were traveling around and they were kind of sharing their their um they were each doing their part to spread this knowledge to others and you know attracting finances you know building up their fortune here and sharing their love you know, their art and their love with the world here. And that's what this is like talking about here with this torch here, you know, and then you have crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. You cannot make this up. And it's so interesting that these cards have been coming out and they've been coming out in different orders. And that's the thing that I feel like is a message here as well is like, there is a way that you can kind of shift a little bit and shift a little bit and shift a little bit and then it slides into place. You know, if you ever try to put a stroller together, like, or like open this compartment and like it collapses, it's like you just got to kind of like mess with it until it just clicks into place. And I feel like that's what's happening here is with your vibration, that's what you're doing. And this is everything falling into place. But this has been you know, destined for you the entire time. New home, new attitude. Are you kidding me? And I have something in my eye. Ooh. <laughs> I might have to pause the video for real. Okay, hold on, sorry. Okay, sorry. So I stood up and it's gone now. Right? So that's what it is. Sometimes you just got to readjust. Okay. That's what I need to do. <laughs> My freaking eyeball, I guess. <laughs> so crib. Whoa. So this could lead to, you know, you have ring. <laughs> so this could lead to a marriage. This could lead to a child. This could lead to a family, uh, you know, a home here. And this is the thing is, um, you know, it doesn't have to be. There's like travel here. There's finances here. There's a home here. Some of you have like a lot that is coming in here. That's really amazing. You know, the crib and the ring. This is just how tarot, you know, depicts you getting everything that you're wanting. Because in a time when tarot was first created, that was like, that's like, you know, a way that that can be said but it doesn't have to be what it is that you're wanting. So this is meaning you're getting whatever it is that you're wanting, but it's definitely having the finances coming in from something new that you're birthing, something new that you're creating here. Wow, how amazing. Okay, so I don't know. I have to pause again, I'm so sorry. Zoom, okay, <laughs> sorry. My contact was ripped. 
like what the heck so weird and ripped like what like how did i not know this all of a sudden did i rip it i don't know but you know what hey that's okay and that's the thing is like we're just adjusting our view here you know just adjusting your view a little bit how you see things how you feel about things is just the pictures that you have created in your mind you're changing the pictures so you're changing what you're getting fulfillment here this is a sagittarius card it could be a sagittarius person here but look at all that money here and look at the ship uh indicating travel exploring okay finances having the money to do what it is that you want to do some of you may have these kinds of dreams to do this here and this is all about you just making something new familiar oh that's what this is about shut up okay originality romance things are unfolding here okay this is huge this is Okay, I was listening to Marissa Peer this morning. She's on YouTube. She's amazing. Single mom, self-made, millionaire, billionaire. I don't know how much money she has, but she's doing good. So, <laughs> you know, um, and she goes around and she travels and she's talking about, you know, your mindset. She's a therapist. So it's not exactly the same thing as Abraham Hicks, as Esther Hicks, but uh, she's married, you know, and her husband kind of, you know, so they have this thing here. It's okay. Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, so she's talking in this video about how, you know, putting a contact, you know, in your eyeball the first time you do this. Oh, I was like, oh, I can't do that. No, 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 no. There's no way I could possibly do that. You know, oh, I can't touch my eyeball, you know, oh, uh, oh. Uh. But um, then I saw myself in glasses and I was like, you know, it's just annoying wearing glasses and I got pressure point headaches and I just didn't like something like covering my face. It just like creeped me out, even though, you know, whatever. You know, everybody has their own little things. <laughs> so I just didn't want to wear glasses. Um, and so every day it was like this daunting thing of getting this contacts in my eye, you know, that took like a half hour. But like, um, that was like the first three days. By like that day five, I was like, yeah, whatever. You know, it didn't even bother me at all. It was just like I had this phobia, you know, built up in my mind about it. And now it's just like the most natural thing. Like I could never imagine not wearing contacts. Um, so that is the thing is you can make wearing contacts familiar by just, okay, I'm doing this. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what you can do about fulfillment, about having a ring, about having a spiritual love, about having finances, about having a home, <laughs> your own spiritual development, birthing a new business, having a family, uh, travel. It's kind of like everything is here. Mind, body, and soul is here. Like probably the only thing we're missing is like health, right? But it's like flattery here. You know, there's something here where it's like you have a choice in what it is you're going to think about and what it is that you're going to do and who you're going to allow around you here. So this can really talk about two different people that complement each other very well. You know, one person's facing this way, one person's facing the other way. And that's something that's been coming through too in your readings is divine masculine, divine feminine energy. But you can come together if you, in your mind, you choose to. You know, how can we build this into something that's going to last? There's a lot of different ways that you can see something. You know, you can... Let me hold this this way. What am I trying to do here? So there's a lot of different ways that you can see anything. A lot of different things can be true. You know, it's like, so what are you going to plant in your mind? Are you going to plant something that is going to grow? Something that is going to lead to abundance and fulfillment and coming together? Or are you going to lead to something coming apart? And this is about you recognizing this, you and another person. You have birth here. This could be you and a person who, they could be in every way you're opposite, you know? 
you're I usually read so it's like and most tarot readers do is like the divine feminine is the one watching whether you're male or female and the person coming in is the divine masculine it will be approaching you but it doesn't have to work out that way but you know so there's like two different ways and comes together to make whole and it's a seed that's coming a tree so this is an enterprise or a child what the freak wow you're about to birth something so amazing into this world friendship is coming to there's gonna be people around yeah it's like you've been very independent for a long long time and you have had to choose very wisely how you're gonna create you know, in this new way to get to this place of achievement here. And you're doing it. You're doing it. This is um, the most miraculous reading. I mean, if you... Let's get some tarot. Whoa. Whoa, baby. I freaking love this. Okay, on these cards, there's little um, zodiac signs. So you have Cancer, you have Gemini, you have Aquarius, and you have Sagittarius. Could be one of those signs. Let's see something else. Nine of Pentacles. You being independent, you having these finances that you are needing. Okay. You have everything that you need. You are abundant as is. You're going to see that here. You have the tower. Something amazing is happening here. You have the two of wands and uh, two of swords and you have the four of wands. So there is a sudden change of where you have been blocked. Where you have been blocked, where you have been blocked, where you have been blocked. You now have a decision to make. You now have choices. And you can choose to be in, in drama and in limiting beliefs. Or you can choose towards, you know, everything that you're wanting. You know, 1111 11, miracles to this new portal, to this new earth, uh, to this new enterprise, to this new home, to this, you know, marriage. It's all your choice. You're seeing that. And very suddenly, all, all of this, all of these blessings, all of these changes are coming in for you here. Strength card. This is your card. It has been very difficult, but you have mastered within yourself the way that you need to be to live your dreams. You're birthing something really amazing here that is your dream. You can have your dream. You can live your dream. This is your destiny to bring this down to the earth. You have the opportunity to do this here, to take all of this heartache and to say, you know what? There is fulfillment that I have within myself and I can make anything into a beautiful blessing here. And that's what it is that you're doing yeah it's like you've been working hard for a long long time and that's the thing is like a lot of people on this planet they work really hard and they're they're you know there are people on this planet that are living this life of luxury of joy of bliss that you know they're birthing their dreams into reality um that you know their finances are taking off you know, that they have this stable home. You know, there are people on this planet that have, you know, loyal friendships. They have all of this stuff. They are able to travel and be filthy rich, you know. And there are people that work really hard and they don't have any of that, you know. And so it's like you're battling within yourself and you're seeing within yourself how to marry within yourself your divine feminine, your divine masculine energies to be able to utilize your energy in a way that is giving you progress. You're being dedicated to this balance, the sacred balance within you. And this is uh, creating a lot of options for you and new opportunity. 
So, and this is somebody else to share it with. Your divine counterpart to share in this. And this is something that you're destined to do. With this opportunity here that you have, you wouldn't believe what is going to happen. You know, the people of this planet that are making the most money, they barely do anything. <laughs> you know, they're really not doing anything all that great here. You know, this is believing that you're worthy of it and you can have it. And that's what you're doing. And seeing how worthy you are. You are worthy of this phenomenal success, of this stability within your finances, within your friendships, within yourself. You are worthy. You deserve to have a beautiful love that builds and builds and gives love. Just it's the way you give love. And that is something that, you know, is spiritual and is a union that births a beautiful life for you, a beautiful home, the ability to travel, a child, an amazing business. You are worthy of all of these finances to continue to build and build and amplify. And that's what you're doing here. Some of you, it's like you're going to have this ability to travel there is an opportunity here where you're going to meet somebody really amazing you're going to be traveling you're going to be you know expanding living your dream having spiritual uh experiences and being able to share them with other people and monetize this in a way that has not been done before This is like, what else do you want? <laughs> okay, Leo, I love it. This is so amazing. I'm so excited for you guys, okay? If you want to like and subscribe, that would be awesome, okay? Also, I have a book. It's called One Light. It's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, it's in the description.